Here is a collaborative summary of indices done in class. The slides were made beforehand and they were annotated and narrated in class and then saved as a movie and uploaded to YouTube. Uh, welcome to our introduction to index laws. For instance, here you can see A to the power of B. A is the base and B is the index. Q to the power of 4 is index notation, while 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is its expanded form. So B cubed equals B times B times B. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Multiply indices with the same base. For example, 2 squared times 2 cubed equals 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, which is 2 to the power of 5. So here we added the powers. So we can see here that if we write it as a to the power of m times a to the power of n, we will get a to the power of m plus n. So this means that it will work with any base. A good way to do division is to write a fraction in expanded form, then cancel as you would with a fraction. Here we can see that subtracted that we subtracted the two from five. We can see in algebraic form that a to the power of m divided by a to the power of n equals a to the power of m minus n. So this will work for any base. We can see here that this question means 5 cubed times itself because it is squared. So here, when we multiply indices, we add powers. We will get 5 to the power of the 6. So where brackets are involved, we simplify by multiplying the powers. So algebraically, we can see that a to the power of m or to the power of n will be a to the power of m times n. So we multiply the powers. This is our first set of index laws. We have learned about multiplying with the same base, division with the same base, and expanding brackets. We are already asking questions about other powers, like fractional powers, in negative powers, and powers of zero. So, we will, so stay posted so we can show you some more. Thank, Thank you! you.